Tenure reporter Marie Cornell, who's live at one of the evacuation centers, Steel Canyon High School. Marie, dozens of families just worried, waiting to find out about their homes. Yeah, Virginia, they left with all that they could take. And at this point, it really is just about waiting to see what happens here at this evacuation site. We've seen some people staying inside of their cars and there's even an RV in the parking lot. And because we are in the middle of a pandemic, the Red Cross, they are not allowing families to stay inside of the buildings at evacuation sites like this, which is what they n would normally do. Instead, the Red Cross has been working to find hotel rooms for them over the weekend. And they scrambled to find housing for 50 to 60 people, a challenge as many places were full because of the holiday. Monday, they were able to put 40 others in rooms. Those who have evacuated, all hoping they will have homes to return to, especially as there are growing concerns about the Santa Ana winds. We've been out there for 25 years. This is not the first fire we've ever been through. We've been through uh, 03, 07 fires, but you know, this is the worst ever fire that we've ever been through. If you are interested in helping those that have been evacuated, the Red Cross wants you to know that they are not accepting material donations because of COVID-19. Instead, they want you to donate financially. Live from Steel Canyon High School this morning, Marie Cornell, ABC 10 News. Thank you, Marie.